Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jay Rosen, and I'm from Washington Valley Cellars. We design and build custom wine cellars. And today, I've traveled to Rumson, New Jersey. I want to take you inside and show you this beautiful cellar we recently completed. It's unique in several ways, one of which is it's in the basement next to a tasting room that's accessed via a spiral staircase from the office and game room above, creating almost a man cave, if you will, a two-story man cave. Also, there's a very aesthetically pleasing coffered ceiling and a couple other things that I want to show you. So let me take you inside and show you what we've done to create this beautiful space. When we first met this gentleman, the owner, he wanted to have a wine cellar and a tasting room that was proximate to his office and his game room. Unfortunately, or fortunately, the basement at that point in time was totally unfinished and it's a very large basement. And the staircase is in the middle of the home, which was not near the office or the game room. What we did is we worked with the builder who had been doing some work on the home and we cut a hole in the floor and installed the spiral staircase right off of the game room and the spiral staircase goes down into what is the tasting room and the wine cellar. So we were able to create an environment for the cellar and the tasting room almost like a man cave off of the pool room and the office which is back here um, to give this gentleman exactly what he wanted and to offset it from the rest of the home. So let me take you downstairs and let me show you what we've done. This is the spiral staircase. Um, you may have noticed the spiral staircase in a couple of our other videos that were a little bit tighter and smaller. When you order these things you can order them in six inch width increments. So I believe this is a 54 inch spiral uh, as opposed to one of the smaller ones that you may have seen previously. And again, metal, steel, wrought iron, mahogany railings, mahogany treads, and if you'll come down, you'll see it fits right in to our mahogany tasting room. So as we come down here, you'll notice that the mahogany matches the mahogany of the windows and the doors. Uh, we created this space here, it's a pump room, there's a sump pump and some mechanical equipment back there that couldn't be moved. In order to create this opening, we actually had to cut the floor joists and then re-support the structure, hence two columns that couldn't be eliminated, but uh, it creates almost like an arch, if you will, when you walk down the stairs. The other thing we did is we tried to use a lot of mahogany in the tasting room we created these flat panel walls and we created soffits in mahogany also. Now the soffits, especially the one running across the middle of the room here on the end, are actually hiding um, air conditioning and heating ductwork, but we tried to blend it in and make it as uh, innocuous as possible. Mahogany doors, round door, this door leads into the rest of the basement, which may be finished at some point in time, but right now it's just an unfinished basement. So if you're coming from the outside, you have an entrance into the space. And then we built this wall to segregate the tasting room from the wine cellar. We constructed these windows. You'll notice these windows don't have any trim. So we ran our stone right to the jams of the windows, which gives it a more of a rustic look. And we built these racks inside of the space, the window height. So if you are outside here having a cigar, having a glass of wine, uh, the display is right at eye level. It kind of sets it off a little nicely. So let me take you into the space. Another item is this uh, metal wrought iron uh, accent to the door. We uh, designed this space out. The owner wanted to use a lot of stone. He also liked um, the old champagne style riddling racks. 
So what we did is we designed two of these racks into the space. And these are called riddling racks. They're actually still used in champagne in making champagne. So when champagne is aged, the bottles are placed in here, and there's a gentleman whose job it is to turn the bottles every day a quarter of a turn. And that helps get the yeast out of the bottles as the, um, as the champagne ages and prior to release. So this is a riddling rack. It's not something we built, it's something we purchased, but we used it and integrated it within our racket. We also used a lot of stone here. The owner wanted to light that stone and we tied it back in with the space on the outside of the cellar. There was a lot of open space here in the middle and we also created these two um, countertop level bars, if you will, that has the same counter surface as the large tasting counter in the back. Um, and one of the things that we've done here is we created uh, space underneath for wooden case storage. And here we actually used slides so each one of these can be pulled out to access your case. Uh, we also did that for the case storage under these display racks, which makes it a little bit easier to access your cases. Another thing I'd like to point out is that we actually placed these um, chandeliers above the bar type counters. Again, a little decoration. We used our uh, signature combination style racks with the angle display row throughout so that it gives you a nice visual and allows you to show off those special bottles in your collection right about on level. And then this is a kind of centerpiece of the space. We uh, double deep storing, double depth storing. You have your drawer for your stuff. Put a nice arched face in here with a couple of side shelves to further display interesting bottles, pictures, what have you. Um, and that's pretty much it. The last feature of the space that I want to point out to you is the ceiling. Here we get a coffered ceiling, uh, but it was a little bit challenging due to the configuration of the room with the angled walls. We tried to run our crown and fascia molding to mimic the walls as well as the racks. So if you'll notice the detail on the two layers of crown, there's a level of crown molding in the tops of the racks, and then there's also crown inside of each one of the coffers. And you'll notice we broke the ceiling up into three sections. So the middle section it's just a rectangle, but the two end sections are symmetrical and they do mimic the following the wall space, etc. Anyway, that's our space here in Munson, New Jersey. I'd like to point out to you the special bottle the owner has. This is a 12 liter bottle, it's a 1995 Bordeaux, but 12 liter bottle is. 16, equivalent to 16 regular sized bottles of wine. So you need one heck of a party to be able to consume this. Thanks for joining us today here in Rumson, New Jersey and looking at another one of our beautiful cellars. You can find us on the internet and through all the social media channels. I look forward to seeing you again on our next wine cellar tour. Thanks for coming. Have a wonderful day.